Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our career mode journey here with Leeds United in EFC 24. A huge thank you for all of your support. I appreciate you all and hopefully you're doing absolutely amazing and having an awesome day as well. And hopefully you're enjoying the series so far, the previous two episodes. Today we bring you episode three, where we sit eighth in the championship after 11 games. And we've got some very good matches to come over the next couple of months. So let's show you what we have in store. But first, a like would be greatly appreciated. Let's go for 800 likes. That's the target we'll set today. And uh, without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy this episode, my friends. So, October will see us take on Swansea away at their place, Bristol City at home, Birmingham away, Preston at home before we go into November where we've got games against Middlesbrough, West Brom, Sheffield Wednesday and Watford. I'm not sure how far we'll get today, but let's see. I'll be honest, I'm feeling pretty confident about this game. Um, famous last words, but here's our team. We've gone with a 4-3-3 as we have been doing. Sanchez in for Archie Gray, who started the previous fixture. Nonto, Ruter and Somerville line up as our front three. So Wang Hee Chan dropping to the bench and also Dan James as well dropping to the bench. Straight into the action today, wasting no time. We want to get the wins on the board and we can do that right here with this game against Swansea. Swansea looking to put themselves straight at us as that's a great ball through to Key. We just switch off defensively. It's a simple ball to defend and we don't. How on earth did they get that much time and space? And Key scores inside the first nine minutes. And there I am talking about getting wins on the board. You can't defend, clearly. Um, it's a good ball through, but... <sighs> Furpo, man. Furpo. Just watch the runner. Ogbetter's ball near post. Strike just about clears. Initially, I wondered whether or not that was going to be Swansea 2-0 in front. Somerville found by Kamara. Somerville now then needs support to arrive. And at the moment, it's not. Here is Somerville finding the feet of Ruter. Ruter inside to Sanchez. Sanchez, seeing the run of Kamara, gets the ball towards him. Can Kamara finish? You bet you can. And Kamara, that is outstanding from him. Really, really good play. The ball over is all right, but Kamara makes this. Can he finish? You bet you can. I meant to say, you bet he can. Lovely control. Then Cabango just doesn't quite get to it first. And we are back on level terms, thanks to Glenn Kamara. Leeds 1, Swansea 1. Furpo now finding Nonto. Nonto, who hasn't really got on the ball yet in this game. Here he is now, though, finding Kamara. Kamara looking for Ruter. Cut out, and Leeds United giving away possession. Key, the goal scorer for Swansea. In goes Furpo. Probably going to be booked for that challenge. It was not a good tackle whatsoever. The move continues, though, for Swansea because the referee is allowed advantage, and Pascal Stroik stands firm in order to not let that chance become anything as we are into half time, And I think Firpo probably will be booked for that tackle. Nonto out towards Junior Firpo, who has escaped the yellow card for that challenge he made in the first half, actually. So, yeah, I was quite shocked to see him not be booked as where on earth was Gruev trying to play that ball there? Somerville will pick it back up for Leeds and find the ball towards Sanchez. Sanchez now... We're trying to pick our moment, but the movement is not quite there for Leeds. Gruev finds Ruter. Ruter trying to turn to open up a bit of space. Can't do it. I'm thinking about substitutions, maybe. As Grimes trying to get away. It's so unlucky there that Jed Spence hasn't come away with the ball. He makes a good block, but somehow we don't have it. Now Darling. Nonto's going to try and put him under pressure. And he turns back. Goes the opposite way and says, see you later to Nonto. Cresswell will now win it back for Leeds, though, quickly. Now Ruter, Ruter, Somerville, poor ball from Ruter. Somerville might still have it though. He does have it. And Somerville around the challenge. Oh, Somerville. It is a moment of magic. And Leeds leads. And when he gets this ball back, he has to find a way through. And boy, does he do it well. And Somerville smashes the ball into the roof of the net. Giving Leeds the lead here from 1-0 down to 2-1 up. This is much more like it, lads. Final five minutes of the game. Press put on by Leeds here. Darling forwards. And who will get to the ball first? It is Swansea. Now Ginelli. Ginelli has a runner in Ogbetta. Jed Spence is with him. Jed Spence can't get to the first ball. Ginelli takes back over for Swansea. And is this going to be one final chance for them? All the way back to Pedersen. Pedersen now then. Inside for Ginelli. Ginelli forced back. We are into the added time here. Allen. Great ball. Ogbetta. We are over the added time, but Swansea are in the attack, which means we have to play on. Here is Ginelli. Ginelli finds Pedersen. Pedersen nearly gets all the way through. He will maybe get a shot away. He does. Amelia will save. It's panic stations for Leeds. 
And it nearly is a goal. Their goalkeeper's up. Swansea are going for this. We only had one additional minute. We are into the fourth of those, though. But you can understand why. Because they had the opportunity as Somerville runs into trouble. And that is full time. What a win for us. Leeds 2, Swansea 1. We have a number of players away on international duty with a game against Bristol City right here. And I want to sim this. But the recent sims have not gone as we would have been hoping. So let's change our fortunes here with a win, which does happen. Chan gets one, Somerville gets two in the game for a 3-0 win. This one could be a bit of a risk. Birmingham away. Away sims not always a good thing to do. But after the back of that 3-0 win we just got, and that is why you don't do them. 2-2 <laughs> two, two draw. They got a late equaliser though with five minutes to go. So we were on track to win the game. And the reason I simmed the Birmingham game and didn't play it was because I knew we had Preston up next, who at the moment find themselves second. So, yeah, I knew this would be a tough game and I thought we might get a result against Birmingham. Uh, wasn't to be. Birmingham are down near the bottom half of the table. In fact, they're just outside the relegation zone. So you could say points dropped, but I knew I wanted to play this one here and make sure that we have an opportunity to take points away from Preston whilst picking them up ourselves. Here's our starting 11 here at Ellen Road to take on Preston and into game we go. So it's Norwich first, Preston second at the moment in the championship. So none of the relegated side holding the top two spots. Stroik having to concede an early corner. Preston looking to start strongly. They're in good form. They're in high morale. So you'd expect so. And as the ball goes into the box, I'm not sure who it's come off last. It looks like it's hit on Tuna. So it will be a Preston corner once more. And they'll get another chance to put a cross in to cause problems. This time they go deeper. It's away initially. And who will get on the loose ball first? It will be Preston through McCann. McCann on the edge of the area. Back the way of Holmes. Holmes' effort. Melia saves round his post. And here is Jed Spence into Sanchez. Sanchez turns, finds Gruev. Gruev waits for runners. He's now seen one on the left-hand side. Instead plays it to Atuna. And Atuna can turn away and use... His little bit of agility to get away from the challenge wonderfully. Sanchez, what a touch that is by Sanchez into the area. Woodman save, palms it back out. And it came to a dangerous area, but no one in a white shirt was there to profit from the save by Woodman. That's a lovely touch by Hughes to get away from Kamara, by the way. As he just knocks it round him. And there's space over on the left-hand side, you can see. But there's also space down the middle. How are we so open? As Keane will find Brady. Brady, back the way of Keane. Keane into the area. Shot across Melia. Great save because if he palms that back any other way, there's a tap in. Holmes is back heel. It's a great move. Melia saves. Not for the first time. McCann. Keane. It's an outrage. It's outrageous how some of these goals go in, by the, by the way. Oh, oh, the back heel was good. I need to sort out how we are so open at the back. I think I just need to tell my fullbacks to kind of be a bit more reserved when going forward. I mean, the save from Elliot at the same time, as I say, not for the first time. It's outstanding when he rushes out. But then here, how? How has that gone in? If anything, the other one should have been the goal. The other shot. So Preston lead after what was a great save by Melier on the first instance. He then lets himself down a little bit with the second one. As Somerville's over on this right-hand side. Nobody made a move into the box, so he had to go backwards. Now Kamara. Kamara looking for the run of Chan. Chan! It's got to go in. It's got to go in. What a chance for Chan. And you know what? I think he's only got one goal so far since he's moved from Wolves. And I am very fond of Wang Yi Chan, but at the moment he's not in the form that we need him to be to get us back to the Premier League. That has to be a goal. And unfortunately, it's wide from Chan. And we are fast approaching the halftime whistle. That's a good win by Sanchez. Somerville, quick one too with Chan. Somerville will get it back. Can't find the return pass though. And that will do us for the first half of football here at Ellen Road. Changes at half time for us with Gelhart replacing Gruev and also Ruter replacing Chan. As we go to a 4 3 3 attack, looking for a way back. Here is now Gelhard immediately on into the action. He's got Ruter ahead of him, but no real move from Jorginho Ruter. So it's a nice ball, and he holds on to it for the moment. Glenn Kamara, space opened up. Oh, ho, 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 this man! He scored a wonderful goal to get us back in it against Swansea. And he's just hit a rocket to get us back in it here against Preston. What a strike! Glenn Kamara, they just stood off him. They were saying, find the pass, find it. But no, he doesn't. He finds the back of the net instead. Off the underside of the crossbar. And it is Leeds 1, Preston 1.
Whiteman corner, like the sixth one of the game so far, and it's not dealt with! Oh my goodness me, Melia! We aren't clearing it from these corners very well at all, and Melia saves. Here is Ruter, and also Archie Gray's just come on. Forgot to mention that too. Great play from Archie Gray. Now Joe Gelhard. Gelhard, Ruter, Ruter! 2-1 leads! Ellen Roder ups, and that's the goal to put us in front. It's Joe Gelhart through to Jorginho Ruta, and you know the rest. And the fans are loving it now. And we have Melier to thank. You've got to give credit the way of the Leeds United goalkeeper because he made the save from the corner, which you saw we didn't deal with. It was an outstanding piece of goalkeeping. And then we go up the other end, we take the lead. And whilst maybe we haven't deserved to be in front here, we'll gladly accept it. Eight minutes of time remains here at Ellen Road. Leeds United in front and heading to a big three points against the Preston side that are high flying at the top in second place in the championship. It won't do us enough to climb over them in the championship, but it'll be a fantastic result to take points off them whilst giving us points ourselves as Woodman claims the cross there. And it does mean that there is going to be one last throw of the dice from Preston. Cresswell gets up first and second. Brilliant header both times. Now Ruter. Ruter. Oh, the run was made by a tuner. Ruter tried to play it to Gelhart instead. And I don't know why my fullbacks are forward because I have told them to stay back while attacking. So there's no reason why Jed Spence or Furpo should be on the attack for Leeds because they've been instructed to not do that. But anyway, a ball into the box. Preston now then trying to find this chance to shoot. It's Brown and Cresswell. How has he not got to that ball? How on earth did he not get to that ball, by the way? You tell me that. Surely a free kick, not a penalty. I mean, he, he kind of blocked it and he just sort of bounced off him and went straight to Preston. And thankfully, we will hold on for this victory. But, oh, wow, towards the end, it could have been so different. Three points is three points, though. A one all draw against Middlesbrough, followed with a 3-1 victory over West Brom. Means we head into game against Sheffield Wednesday off the back of a fantastic win against West Brom. Have ourselves a corner here, 13 minutes on the clock. Sanchez will take it, lift it in. There's Furpo with the header for Leeds! Junior Furpo rising highest in the box and Leeds United lead in this one here. And Sheffield Wednesday, not a good start from them. They would have been hoping for a far different start than what they've seen. Junior Firpo, first goal of the season. Leeds are in front. Really good delivery by Sanchez. What a header by Firpo though as well. Firpo, Ruter. Chef Wednesday, very open here. As Gelhard will get the shot away. Now it falls for Spence. Dawson saves. Changes imminent for Leeds United. Triple change, Pirro on. Along with Archie Gray and Nonto. As Ruter goes off with Sanchez. And also Gelhardt. So made a triple change right when we had a chance to find a second goal. We scored from the corner we had earlier on in the game. Chan delivers this one. Not as good, but it's still there to be won. Cresswell trying to volley it. It ends up being cleared. Now Furpo on the shot. Falls again for Chan. Chan will now take it inside. Can't find a shot. So goes back out for Kamara. Kamara will play Gray. Archie Gray. Archie Gray. Gray! Oh! Thought that was two. DRB, good work, finds Bannon, Barry Bannon's delivery back post, Furpo will get his head to it, and Chan has space to run into to take leads forwards, Nonto, Pirro ahead of him, Pirro's made his move, Nonto plays that ball, Pirro away from the challenge, Joel Pirro finishes the game, and Leeds will take the points from Sheffield. Hendrick's effort from distance, easy enough for Melier to catch. As he rolls the ball out to Jed Spence. And Leeds are chewing down the clock here. Seeing out the victory. Kamara, ball forwards to Atuna. Atuna finding Spence. Spence gets there. Brilliant. Jed Spence now for Leeds. Forward to Pirro. Pirro to off to Archie Gray. Gray, he's gone for it. Dawson saves. Gray still searching for a goal, remember, as well. Kamara finds Gray again. It would be really nice to get Gray a goal, but not this time around just yet. And Tuna. And Tuna's cross in is a dangerous one. Bernard heads away. Falls for Kamara. Falling for Gray. It won't happen for Archie Gray. It's just not his day. Hey, I am a poet. Three additional minutes. And i got to say, I'm very happy with how we've done in this episode. We've climbed this table well. Yes, a few of our sim results have not gone the way I would have been hoping they would. But our performance is on the pitch. I've made up for that, to be honest, as Chan 
Chan, 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 3 0 leads. That's why I signed him. More of that, please, Wang Yi Chan. And there is the full time whistle sounded. Sheffield Wednesday 0, Leeds United 3, the full time score. We travel to Vicarage Road, seven games unbeaten now in a row. So this is a good time to be playing Watford, who are not as high in the table as I expected, but will still very much like Leicester be a formidable opponent. We'll take a look at their team. There it is for you. So, yeah, let's see. Can we make it eight unbeaten here at Vicarage Road? And we have had to make a few changes ahead of this. Somerville's come in to play right wing. Nonto plays in behind Ruter. And Ampadu in to play centre-back with Byram starting at left-back. Chan looks forwards to Nonto. Not found him, though. Porteous gets there first. His ball for Sir Alter. Not sure he wanted it there, but they've got away with it here, Watford. And as we now then have to defend. Oh, I've taken a step back and Healy's got a chance and he's put it over. He's put it over. And it's a fortunate moment for Leeds because it could have been so much more. Melier seems to have it covered, but... There's been not a lot to separate the two sides in this first half. Evenly matched, as you'd expect. So, yeah, second half. This has got all the makings of a draw written all over it. Mateus, lovely touch. He's now away from one, away from two. Mateus here for Watford. He's still got it somehow, and it was tricky all over the board. I was expecting a pass that never came. He held onto it, and he tested Melier. And at the moment, if there is a side that looks like scoring, it is not Leeds United. Shot coming through. Sanchez almost kind of clears. Pirro will now take it forward for Leeds. And to be honest, a draw would keep us eight unbeaten in a row. And right now, the way we've been playing in the game, having not threatened, I might take the draw. Somerville. Now Nonto. Nonto striking. Oh, he's caught the keeper off guard. Backman. Outrageous. Leeds take the lead. And it's undeserved. But that's football. I've noticed sometimes the goalkeepers in this game, when you just hit it with power, they just can't save it for some reason. I don't know. It's just like they get it all wrong. Because again, this is not in the corner from Nonto. It's very central. And I think Backman should save it. I've seen this a few times now in the My Player save and here as well. Um, anyway, Leeds lead 1 0. Watford, to be fair, haven't had a lot of chances. But you saw the save from Melia moments ago. Compare that to the save that Backman just tried to make. You know what they say, though. If you don't shoot, you don't score. So you have to shoot in order to find the net. And that's exactly what Nonto did. He can do nothing more than take the shot on. But Backman should do better with it. Still, here is Chan. Now Pirro leads if they go 2-0 up. We'll feel very confident about seeing this game out. Nonto finding Chan. Chan cuts back in on that right foot. Chan now in the run of Nonto. Chan goes alone, though. This time, Backman will save. Not in the corner. Should have been 2-0 leads. They were too concerned about the run of Nonto. Just didn't watch that Chan was just going to go for the shot himself. It's in, is it? It is. They try to clear off the line. Pascal strikes header. Has found its way over the line. And Leeds have a second. And there is goal line technology. Goal decision system. We'll see it now. And you can see, uh, well, from this angle, it doesn't look like all the ball's over the line. But I wonder, is it going to play out and move us forward a little bit? I don't know. It's right on the line, you know. It's given anyway. Leeds have the goal. But I wouldn't want to be the one making that decision personally. Been pretty strong from set pieces this episode as well. Both defending them and when it's come to a scoring. We got one against Sheffield Wednesday. There's one here. Brilliant work by Jed Spence. Now Ampadu forward for Somerville. Somerville doesn't have a pass inside, so holds onto the ball. Tries to release Spence, who's making his move down the right. Watford just not calm enough on the ball there. Gave it straight back to Leeds. And Somerville will go all the way back to his goalkeeper, Melier. Now switches it out for Sam Byram. Byram's control is good. Holds onto possession. Leeds now. Confidently trying to see out the results here. Ampadu to Stroik. Stroik all the way to Somerville. And the overlap is on from Spence once again. There's that pass. Spence. Pirro on the inside. Sir Alter blocks it, but it's a Leeds corner. And we scored from the last one. Defending to do for Watford. Will it be two from two? Sanchez delivers. He's got such a good delivery, it looks like. Every time that cross goes in, you wonder, is it going to result in a goal? Ampadu's shot seems to have bounced up and hit him on the arm. Referee plays advantage, but there is no advantage to be had. So he pulls it back for the free kick. And with a final minute to go here, Leeds are going to go eight unbeaten in a row and take down Watford at their place. What a episode for results we have had as we've climbed our way up the table. And if Preston have lost elsewhere, we'll be second. And there is the table then after 19 games and where we finished today's video. Two points behind Preston. 
five behind Norwich, but we have a three point gap over fourth place Leicester. So we have done what we set out to do, which was climb this table. Coventry up next. Should be a victory. Probably going to sim that. Um, and then outside of Coventry, we are in December. Now we've got Cardiff away, Blackburn, Rotherham, Watford, Coventry again. So definitely some winnable games in there before we go to January where Southampton, that could be a tricky one. Obviously already losing to them this season as well. Um, when do we next play Norwich or Preston? Because they're the two games that I'll keep my eyes out for, considering that they are the sides above us. Preston in February, Norwich in March. For now, though, my friends, that will be the end of today's episode. I'm aware that this series isn't as popular as the My Player, but I still thank you anyway for taking the time to watch it, and I do hope you are enjoying it so far. We'll keep going with Leeds United, take them back to the Premier League and see what we can do in there with them. Um, whether or not that takes us this season, next season, we'll do our best to make it this season, though. Um, but until next time, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening. A like would be much appreciated. If you did enjoy, subscribe if you are around here and like what you see, and I'll see you all back here again for another episode very soon. Look after each other, and I'll see you all again. Adios!